okay guys let's do some little work on our dashboard okay so it should at least be useful so we'll close out from here and we'll head over to our admin directory right here and uh, we need the dashboard right and this dashboard actually is the home that blade.php so here is it here it is and uh, what we're gonna do is actually just move it to our admin directory and obviously we're gonna receive an error but let's head over to our home controller and we're gonna say return the view admin dot home okay and we can actually just rename this to dashboard right here and uh, i'll head over to here and i'll rename it to dashboard just so it makes more sense so dashboard.blade.php and in my web.php i need to say we visit the home right here it's no longer be home it's gonna be dashboard okay so it's gonna say dashboard at the top so if i say dashboard it takes me to this page okay so what do we want to see on a dashboard.blade.php so right here we just have a panel what i'm gonna do is put this in in some columns okay so I'll see column and then i'll say md and i'm just i'm just gonna say three and i'm gonna have four of those and in each of those i'm gonna have a little panel and i'll say panel info so what am i gonna have on my dashboard let's look at this so i'm gonna have maybe number of published posts number of trashed posts number of users maybe number of tags number of categories or things like that okay so let's just go ahead and keep it as simple as possible so i cleaned everything right here and right now i'm gonna just have some columns so i'll say column large three and in here i'm gonna have a div dot panel dot panel info and right here i'm just gonna say div dot panel heading and this panel heading is gonna say published post it's not supposed to be echoing anything it's just supposed to say published post and if i refresh we have published post and uh, the body so div that panel body is gonna echo out the number of published posts okay for example 434 and uh, we can just add the text center right there so that it looks a little bit better and if i refresh okay it's centralized same thing with the body so we're just gonna say right here in the body just use an edge one tag dot text center and just put in the number of published posts right there okay so right there that's how we have it and we're just gonna duplicate this four times so we're gonna have published post and right here we're gonna have trashed post and this is not gonna be panel info it's gonna be panel danger and we're gonna have the number right there so we have trashed post and we have the number okay so the next thing we're gonna have is number of users okay so we'll say users and right here it's just gonna be the same thing but this is gonna be panel success a save a refresh we have users and the last one we're just gonna say categories and we have that okay so since the published post is just long i'm just gonna say post or i'm just gonna say posted right there okay so that looks great so posted trust post users categories so we'll just have this data just for our dashboard so that when we look at the dashboard we can know what is going on in our block okay so right here we're gonna have to echo out the post count and we're gonna be passing these variables from our home controller then right here we're gonna have the trashed count so let's just echo the data so we'd have trash count and next we're gonna have users count and next we're gonna have categories counts so right here so we'll echo out categories count right there okay so let's take care of that in our home controller where we are returning the dashboard we need to pass that data so we'll say with we have first of all the post count which is the number of posts that we have so we'll say post all right there and we'll need to import that class so we'll say use app post and obviously we'll also need to use app user and also use app category right there okay so we're passing the number of posts 
and we'll also pass in the number of trashed posts and this is going to be trashed counts and we'll refer to the post and we'll refer to our only trashed method and we'll get all of them okay and we'll get the counts right there okay so obviously right here we want to also get the counts of all the published posts and then the next thing we'll get the users count and this is gonna be user all and the last step we'll get with categories count and this is gonna be category all and we'll get the counts same thing for the user so we're also gonna get the counts right here okay so let's go ahead and refresh and see what we get so on define variable post count meaning we need an s right there so right here we have s and right here we have seven posts zero trash posts two users and five categories okay so let's go ahead and trash a post so we'll say our post and we'll trash this one right here post trash successfully we head over to our dashboard and we have six posts we have one trash post two users and five categories so that's how we can just set up a pretty simple example of a dashboard and i think we can leave this project at that okay so i'm gonna show you what's your next tax is gonna be so we have settings right here and one thing you can also involve in the settings is for the footer right here because imagine we're actually hard coding the footer you can go ahead and create a new migration to edit and insert the about field into the settings and you update that so that you can generate the about data dynamically you can also go ahead and edit this so that you can have these fields in the database for the working time and all that you can also do a lot of things for example one of the main tasks is i'll ask you to research why we haven't actually deleted the images of the post when we are deleting the post okay and uh, i intentionally left that out but i'm gonna leave it as a quiz for you so try to find out and there is a simple thing it's just a little simple thing right there okay remember we are using assessors to get the links from our database but also remember that to delete a post we need to use the onlink method and remember that the onlink method does not receive http okay so just with these three things that i've said try to figure out how to delete the images once the post is deleted or something like that okay so there are a lot of things that you can increase in this application it's just a young application you can go ahead and change a lot of things and obviously these links that do not work you're gonna set them up everything that does not work you just fix it but this is the basic way that if you want to build an application in future it's gonna look okay so to make this application better go ahead and set up slots for the categories go ahead and set up slots for the for the tags and everything like that okay so thank you thank you so much for watching and i really hope you learned a lot from building this application and see you in the next section which is gonna probably be more advanced than this one so thank you and take care